Hello, class. Can you hear me? Hi, teacher. Yes. Hello. Hello, Marlene. How are you? <clears throat> I'll find you. I'm good. I'm good. All right. Hey, good to see you. It's been a long time. Hello. Hello, Miguel. Oh, Miguel's connecting. Hello, Nelson. Hello, Miss. Hi, how are you? I am fine. And Good. you? Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh. Yeah, it's good to see you. How was your vacation? Good. All right, excellent. Okay, very good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, and hello, Jorge. How are you? Hello, teacher. Pretty good. Okay. How about you? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. Yes. I'm, I'm glad to, to see you. <clears throat> Thank you so much. Yeah, it's great to see you guys. It's been, we've had a, a, a bit of a, a um, what's it called? A, a, a break. So it's been a, a while now. Yeah. Okay. We need a take a rest to recovery from the break <laughs> yes i know i i totally understand yes okay all right um i don't know are the rest of you guys here i can't see your beautiful faces vamos vamos can you turn on the camera podemos ver sus caritas Hello. Okay. Okay. Hello, Linda. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Ah, very good, teacher. Oh, very good. good. Excellent. Okay. All right. Hello, Suleyma. Hello, Suleyma. Hi. How are you doing? Can you hear me, Suleyma? Es que está lloviendo, teacher. Casi no escucho. Oh, okay, I understand. Yes, it's okay. It's okay. All right. Um, hello, Miguel. Hello, Nelson. Hello, Christy. It's good to see you. Hello, teacher. How are you guys? Hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you, Christy? I am good. Oh, good. I'm, I'm so happy to hear that. Did, yeah. you, did you have a good vacation? Yeah. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, excellent. Okay, very good. Um, okay, como les fue, chicos? What did you do on vacation? Tell me about your vacation. Where did you go? What, what beautiful places did you go to? Marlene, where did you go on the vacation? Um, only one day I, I, go, I went to the Echo, Echo Park. Uh, with my my <clears throat> puppies. <laughs> Only that the, is the yeah the rest of the day of the day is only working. Ah okay I see all right very nice all right and what about you Olga what did you do on vacation? Hello good evening. Uh, in, in my vacation, I I was with my family. I was in the house, and I traveled <clears throat> at the Rio 
Rio Paz, and we join the travel. Okay. All right. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. All right. Hello, Nelson. Can you hear me? Nelson A? Hello, teacher. Hello. Sorry? Oh. Hi. Yes, I, I can hear. Oh, are you having internet problems? Nelson, are you having internet problems? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. All right. Sounds good. Okay. Very good. Um, did you do anything interesting on, on the vacation, Nelson? Can you repeat, please? Did you do something interesting on vacation? Um no teacher, I am sick yet and mm. I try to have wait pause. Yeah, that's... Okay, okay, I understand. Okay, all right. Well, guys, I hope you had a wonderful day, a wonderful week. Um uh that you were able to rest and you guys have all the energy in the world. So what we're gonna do right now um, is we're going to take attendance. So um, just give me a moment. Okay. All right, let's start with Christina. Is Christina here? Christina, no, okay. Um, Ani? No, Ani, okay. Uh, Mari. Mari? Mari. All right, Carolina. Carolina? No, Carolina. Okay. Um, Christy. Christy. Present teacher. All right, welcome, Christy. And Jorge? Hello, okay. Hello, Jorge. Hello. Okay. Uh, Karen? Karen? Okay, no Karen. Um, Karina? Karina? Present. Okay, welcome Karina. Um, are you having trouble with your camera? And no, but I uh, acabo de entrar, pero eso no lo he entendido. Okay, okay, I gotcha. Okay, uh, Leon, Leonardo? Leonardo? Okay. Uh, Linda? I'm here, teacher. Welcome, Linda. Okay. Marlene? Present. Okay, welcome, Marlene. Um, and Miguel? Present, teacher. All right, welcome, Miguel. Gracias, thank you. Nelson? I am here, teacher. Okay, Nelson, welcome. Nelson G, right? Yes. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. And Nelson uh, A? Nelson A? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Welcome. And Norma? Present teacher. Okay, all right, very good. Welcome, Norma. Um, and uh, Olga? Present teacher. All right, very good. Um, Omar?
Omar? No. Okay. All right. Uh, what about um, Sylvia? Sulema. Present. Okay. Welcome, so, uh, Sulema. And Sulema Melgar? Sulema Melgar? Okay. Tatiana? Tatiana? No. Okay. All right, so let me just make sure I haven't missed anybody. I didn't hear Cristina, Ani, Mari, Carolina. Present, present Carolina. Oh, Carolina's here, wonderful. Welcome, Carolina. Thank you. I didn't hear Karen or Leonardo. Or yes, teacher. Oh, Cristina is here. Okay, welcome, Cristina. Okay, I didn't hear um, Omar. Sulaima Melgar and Tatiana, right? Okay, good. All right, guys. Um, it's so good to see you guys. Um, ya los extrañaba. <laughs> yeah, ya me hacían falta verlos por las noches. Pero I'm glad that you are able to um, to rest because you deserve it. I mean, it's you work hard, so you guys deserve to rest. Um, so, but I'm happy to have you guys back. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to, well, I'm going to be um, sharing my PowerPoint. Can you see my PowerPoint? Oops. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right, so today, is our last day of unit three. This is a review of unit three. We have a unit three review, uh, product and review. It's this, um, my, your facilitator, Jessica Guerrero. It's the intermediate two, it's class number 20. Okay, so let's start. This is something that you guys uh, started reading uh, right before the vacation. Do you remember this? Or it was just too long ago? Do you remember? Yes, no. No. Yes. <laughs> okay, because I re do you remember that I told you read the article and circle words that you don't understand so that we could later talk about them. Do you remember that? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Did you circle those words or do you want to go back and read it? What do you prefer? Uh reading you prefer to go back and read it just yes. because don't don't mark the the words the okay words. no problem let's do that then um so what i'll do is i'm going to get you guys to work in pairs you're going to go back and read this article this is actually um in the in your manual but if you want to take um a picture of it you can like you can do the the screenshot too ready teacher okay all right what about the others you ready what number page in the manual teacher um good question uh i'll tell you in a moment um 32 okay all right so what we're going to do like i said at this moment all i need you guys to do is read the article and circle words that you don't understand discuss the words with your partner. So maybe your partner knows the word and you can say, ah, yes, that word means this. But if you don't know what it means, then you can ask your partner, okay? You can ask your partner uh, what it means. Um, and then if you, your partner doesn't know, then you can, we're gonna be discussing the words in the class, okay? You got it? Okay. Wonderful. Yes. Excuse me. Uh -huh. What is the page in the manual? Page 32. Okay, thank you. Yes, it's 32. But I, if you want, I will I will project it again. Uh, second. Okay. 
I'll project the Okay. So this is this is what we're going to be reading. Okay. And I, once again, I'm going to emphasize that all we're doing is reading. We are not going to concentrate on these questions. We are going to discuss these questions later, but not right now. Okay. 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 You guys ready? All right, I'm going to stop sharing and we're going to be going to breakout rooms. We're going to be working in pairs, okay? So it'll be easier. Um, and I'm going to give you, um, I'll give you 10 minutes, okay? To read the article, probably a little bit more. Let's give you a little bit more. Let's give you 13 minutes. Um, oh. Give you two, 13 minutes um, because I want you not just to read, but then circle, but also discuss if maybe you already know those questions, those words. Sorry. Okay. Is everybody clear on what to do? Yes, teacher. Okay. Teacher, sorry. Oh. Uh, I, I didn't hear. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry. No problem. Okay. So, what we're doing, Tatiana, is we are reading the article on page. 32. We read this article before the break, but it's been a long time. So you probably don't remember it. So I'm letting you read it again. And you're circling okay. words that you don't understand. And you're going to be discussing with your partner those, those words. Maybe your partner knows the meaning of those words. Okay. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So it's all clear, everybody? Yes. yes, it's clear. Yes, teacher. All right. Okay. Let's um, let's go back. I'm sorry. Let's go back. I'm sorry. Let's open up the rooms. Here we go. Can read the article. Complete sure. article. Ah, okay. It, she I'm said sure. we, we have to read the article and after that we have to find the words what, that we don't know the meaning of that word and discuss about that word. If you know the meaning or if I know the meaning, we have to uh, talk about Mark. It. Mm -hmm. Mark and um, talk about the, the, the words. Mm -hmm. if, if you want, you can. I'm going to start. <laughs> okay. Just, uh, I'm going to look the, I guess. Uh, the cost of production. Fix, okay. fix and bar, um, variable cost determine the selling price of a business firm's product. Fixed cost include items uh, such as the rent for your office or manufacturing space. Uh, Variable costs include e items that change with your sales volume, like labor and materials. Uh, in pricing your, your product, all true, it may be a difficult calculation, a simple formula. To help, help you uh, is to add your total fixed cost 
to your total variable cost. Then you divide the total by your estimated total sales. You will have then uh, your cost of uh, production per unit. Uh, now you have to sell the product for at least this amount in order to cover the cost of a production. Okay. Market demand a product of, or service. Market demand for a product or a service is the second factor that a business owner should consider when pricing a product. The law of demand is that there is an inverse relationship between demand and price. As price fall, demand rise, and as price rise, demand falls. Demand for your product is just as important to consider when setting a price as the cost of production. There is usually a positive or direct relationship between cost consumer income and demand. As a consumer's income goes, goes up, so does demand for a product. Sorry to interrupt you guys. Um, just wanted to uh, to help you guys with a word. It, it's production. Produ uh, uh, production. production. Mm -hmm. Yes. Production. So not don't production. remember in English the U sounds more like a. Uh, okay. So production. so it's production, not production. Production. Okay. Production. It's like okay. Consumer. Consumer. This one consumer. is consumer. Yeah. Consumer. In this okay. case, the, the sound is different. But in English, maybe like probably about 75% of the time, it's going to be the sound of the U is uh, right? But in some cases, like um, like um like consumer, that it's a sound, it sounds different, right? This the other one is ooh, it's not uh, but ooh, consumer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Consumer. Yeah. Okay. Okay. True. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, the term, the term, I don't know how to pronounce it. The the term, the term. Determining. The term. Determining. 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 Determining, yeah. Determining the markup of a product, uh, regardless of the. Hello, Cristina. Hello, teacher. What happened? Uh, Hello, Olga. Hello. Hi. Can Olga, can you hear us? Can you turn on the computer the, the camera? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay, there we go. Okay. Okay, Olga, is, so we are we are reading the information on page 32. And we are looking at vocabulary that we don't understand. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. All right. So I'll leave you to. I'll leave you with these uh, wonderful ladies. Um. Excuse me. Um. I don't. I don't understand. We are reading the article on page thirty-two. Yes. Okay. And we are circling words that we don't understand yes okay so uh -huh. i will leave you with these wonderful ladies and i'm going to go to another room another breakout room okay okay
Hello, Linda. Hi, teacher. I think it's Olga in trouble with the oh. Wi-Fi. No. Olga is in his group? With Olga. No estaba con él, but she's she's no no with all but she has, she has trouble with internet Olga. Eh, y se, dijo, dijo que se iba a salir para resetear su máquina. Ah, <laughs> Perdón, Olga, no sabía que estaba en el... No me parecía esto. Okay, sí, no. es que tenía problemas con el audio. Ah, ok. All right. Then continue. Continue with... Ok, thank you. Linda, come back. Hi, Olga. You solved the problem. Sorry. <laughs> So, <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, if you can, um, if you my... want, we can read the article. Voy a ver mi captura de pantalla. Okay. Is analyzing cost of production, verdad? Let me. Oh, no. Analyzing cost of production. Is the page 32? 32 in the manual? 32. Is the article in the page 32? No sé, yo solo le tomé la captura de pantalla, pero ya no sé si es esto entonces. Uh, bueno, empieza. There are three important. There are three important factors. factors business. business. Uh -huh. Ah, pues sí. Okay. Business. Businesses. Need to consider when when is es borrosa mi captura, no sé por qué. Okay. When, pricing. I, when pricing a product. A product. A product. Uh -huh. production. Ay, poco la <laughs> What happened? The teacher, queríamos okay. saber pricing que es, es el precio del producto. Yeah, that's exactly what we're going to be talking about in class, like together as a group. We're going to be looking at the vocabulary and everything. Uh, but yes, pricing is um, how much, you, what, what is the price that you give to a product? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. So it's the, the act of giving a price to a product. Okay. okay? La otra duda que tengo en el primer párrafo. Try to, try to ask me in English. Okay. Um, uh, I have, I have, in, uh, duda, ¿cómo se dice? A doubt. Ah, but I have doubt eh, words I'll throw. Although. Ah, although. Yes, uh -huh. although. Although, I have put the, ex exactly. Eh, ¿Qué significa? Quisiera saber porque no, no, no entiendo qué significa. Yeah, that, that, that is what we're going to be doing, Carolina. Okay, so you ask the questions to Karina. If she, if Karina doesn't know the words, then you were going to circle the word so we can ask in class, okay? okay? That is the idea. So that together we're going to learn, um, we're going to learn the vocabulary together as a class, okay? Okay. okay. 
Oh. Oh, teacher, yeah. I like your lashes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, uh, you noticed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, are you finished reading? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes. Okay. Okay. Very good. Did you circle all the words? Yes. In my case, I think yes. Okay. And did you ask Carolina if maybe she knows the those words? Mm -mm. Okay. No, we didn't. Okay, so you can go ahead and ask her. Okay. Mm, Carolina, do you know what is regardless? Perform. Perform. Regard, regardless, regardless, uh, is like uh, anyway or de toda forma, según lo que estoy viendo. Regardless. Uh, uh -huh. okay. De todas formas. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, quiero ver qué otra palabra. Luego de eh, quizás. Another word. Um, let me take a view. What? Let me take a view of the The paragraph production unit of your code or boy make a difficult calculation. And that the channel with you sale volume. Again, then the habla this it and the the channel with you sale volume online labor and material. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Variable costs include items that change with your sales volume, like labor mm -hmm. and material. The labor and um, in material. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Serían so, eso, ¿verdad? Right? That, donde se le chan. Okay. Let's a ver. Hello, John. 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 The chan quit the Are you guys finished? Eh, no, te falta te... una todavía. Okay. Dos lo faltarían. Okay, uh, but uh, all you're doing is you, you, all you're doing is um, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, what's uh, circling the words you don't understand. You don't have to look them up. We're going to be discussing them in, in class, so no, no worries. Okay. 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 All right.
El, el segundo. Que un negocio. The market demand yeah. for a product or a service is the second factor that a business owner in the demand for those products or services is the second factor that a negocio, a dueño de negocio, debería considerar cuando. Pricing. Pricing tiene que ver con el when pricing a product. Cuando el producto. Cuando, cuando, como, cuando se pone precio en producto. Algo así. Cuando de etiqueta la, el producto. La ley de demanda. Cállate. No es que hay un. Inverse, an inverse. Hay un, una relación entre qué? Between the Sorry. precio. No lo una relación entre de precio y demanda, pero inverse. No sé mm. cómo va ahí la palabra inverse. The law of demand is there is an inverse relationship. La ley de la demanda es que esto es una relación un, inversa entre demanda y precio. Entre demanda y precio. Uh -huh. As price. Como, ¿Cuál es como caer, verdad? ¿Cuál? Sí, de, de, de género. O caída de los precios. No sé. And Hasta fall. Fall. Yo creo que sí cae. Como los precios caen. Demand. Mm. Rises. Lo voy a poner tasa. porque no estoy segura. Fall. And as price rise. Demand. Demand pass. rise. Ajá, and price si le va a pasar, dicen. Siempre es como el precio right. bajo, la demanda sube, si el, la demanda sube, el precio. Si el precio sube, la demanda baja. Entonces, ¿sí mm. Si el precio baja, la demanda sube y si el precio sube, la demanda baja. Ah. Uh -huh. uh. Demand for your product is... Import, as important. Yes. La demanda de tu producto, o sea, tu producto es. Solo una importante. Solo, solo como importante considerar cuando. To consider when setting. Okay, class, so um, we are going to discuss these words. Um, did you, were you able to uh, find the majority of the meanings or there were many words you didn't understand? Did you understand the majority or not really? The majority. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We understand the majority. Excellent. I I'm happy to hear that. Very good. Okay. Of course, there are going to be exceptions, and that's okay, right? That's okay to have exceptions. 
Okay. All right. So I'm going to share the PowerPoint. Okay. And what I'm going to ask you to do is write in the chat any words that you don't understand. Okay, so write in the chat. Really? No words so far? Ah, ahí está la primera. Okay. All right, let's see. I'm going to try to... I'm going to try to um, find the words, but if I can't, let me know in what paragraph it's in. You guys are probably going to have to help me out because I may not be able to find all of them. Regardless, where is regardless? In the last paragraph, below determi determining. 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 All right, got it. Thanks. All right. Income is is uh, is in the second paragraph. Uh, in the file line. The last um, line. Uh, there is usually a positive or direct relationship between consumer income and demand. Demand. Ah, okay, okay. All right, thank you. Perform in the last line. Thank you. I think you guys are going to have to help me with this one. Fall. Fall is in, in the second uh, below market demand for a product service. Product or service in the. Oh, I meant it falls. So a price, the prices fall. Okay. Yes. All right. Got it. Thanks. Is there anything else? Or are those the only words? No more? Is that it? No. Really? Wow. Wow, I'm I'm impressed. Only those words. We are good. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm very, very impressed. Okay, excellent. Okay, let's talk about the first word, although, okay? The, that word, you have to be careful. Um, I hear it mispronounced many times. It's although. So everybody practice with me and open up your microphone so I can hear you. Although. 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 Wonderful. Okay. Very good. Okay. Although. Excellent. Um, and that word means um, it's like saying, uh, however. Okay. You know, the, you know the word however? It's like a, a, it's like a contrast, right? So it says, it's like saying, so you're contrasting. Yes, it may be difficult, uh, maybe a difficult calculation. 
um, as, but a simple formula to help you is to add new, add your total fixed cost to your total variable cost. So you're saying you're contrasting. You're saying yes, it's, it's difficult, but on the other side, it's you know a very simple ways to do it like this. So you're contrasting the difficulty with something easy. Okay. So although, how do you say although in Spanish? A pesar de. A pesar de. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Or oh, aunque. Aunque. Yeah, aunque. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. Fall. Uh, well, you probably know the verb fall, right? Like I, I, um, for example, you can say I fell on the ground. Me caí, right? So falling means to go down. Okay. So when it says as prices fall, it means as prices go down, as they decrease. Okay. That's what it means. Okay. And the opposite is rises. They rise. It's going up. Okay. So if the, the prices go, if they, the prices go down or they decrease, they fall. And if the prices go up or they increase, they rise. Okay. All right. Okay. Income. Income means the amount of money that you that comes into your possession. That is your income. Okay. So all the, all the money that you earn, right, that comes into your possession, that's your income. So um, your income can come from uh, from your job, the income can come from uh, maybe an investment, okay, maybe you invested in something, or it can come um, if for, um, it can come from money that, um, that people give you, right? Um, so there, to rent a, an apartment. To give to rent an apartment, yeah, absolutely, that could be part of your income. So in any money uh, that comes into your possessions, okay, uh, remittances too, right? That's very common in, in El Salvador to have remittance. You know, you understand remittance? Remittance. Um, repeat, please. I'll write it in the chat. Remittance. 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 Remi. Remittance. Remittance. Any idea what um, remittance is? Remittance. I don't in, in El Salvador, it's very common that um, people receive money from their family in like the United States. Okay. Right. The people in the, in the United States send money to their family. Yes. That's a remittance. Okay, so a remittance can also be part of your income. So any money that comes into your possession from uh, your work, investments, rent, uh, from, uh, a rent from a house, for example, or remittance, all of those things are the income. How do you say income in Spanish? Ingresos. Ingresos. Very good. Okay. All right. Markup. What is a markup? Markup is the, the amount of money that you put, you add after you calculate the cost of a product. Okay. So when you calculate how much money you need to spend to create a product. Okay. So to give an example, you are making, I don't know, a lipstick. You understand lipstick? Lipstick? For what is lips? lipstick? Uh-huh, for your lips. Uh, in women, we put lipstick, right? Okay, so if you're making lipstick, for example, how much money does it take to just to make the lipstick? Maybe only to create the lipstick, it cost $1 only with the material, maybe it's $1. Then that's the cost, the cost of uh, production. Then you have to add 
an amount of money that you want to get for profit and come with the final the final cost maybe you say oh, okay we're going to add three dollars now 350 actually we're going to make it 350 so now we have to add 350 plus one dollar for the cost is 450 so the so we're going to sell the product for four dollars and fifty cents so the markup is three dollars and fifty cents do we understand or no yes yes I, i'm not sure teacher you're not sure it's okay, it's okay. i'll i'll okay I'll, I'll i'll write in the chat okay so let's say the cost of production for the product for the lipstick is one dollar okay and but i'm going to sell the lipstick not for one dollar i'm going to send the lip i'm going to sell the lipstick for um for four dollars and fifty cents that means that my markup my markup is going to be three dollars and fifty cents Okay, I wrote in the chat. So if my cost of production is $1 and I sell the product, the price of the product I sell is for $4.50, the markup price is $3.50. Does that make sense? No, I wrote. No? Yes, Bye. Si a mí me cuesta un dólar, para producir el, es el, el costo de, el, el, el precio de costo es un dólar, pero yo lo voy a vender por cuatro cincuenta, entonces ¿cuánto le he aumentado? Cincuenta. That is the markup. The amount of money I add to the cost of production. Como un margen de ganancia. Uh, yes, in the, in the end, eso es lo que es, ¿verdad? Eso, correcto. Pero en realidad es, ¿a cuánto le subimos? Aunque en realidad no es siempre uh, um, eh, un margen de ganancia, ¿verdad? Porque a veces puede ser que hay otras cosas que, que, que tal vez no se, o sea, se hayan tomado en cuenta. O sea, para producirlo puede ser que me cueste un dólar, pero tal vez tengo que mentir, invertir otras cosas. ¿Verdad? Entonces no siempre, no siempre es el, el margen de ganancia. Tal vez le voy a subir 3.50, pero no le voy a ganar 3.50. Porque quizás, eh, quizás, um, um, no sé, eh, quizás yo tengo, es una reventa, por ejemplo. Entonces, um, yo tengo que darle, uh, le voy a dar a alguien más eh, dinero por, por promocionarlo, por ejemplo. Y entonces ahí me voy a perder un poco de ganancia. ¿Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Okay. All right, good. Regardless, talk about, let's, let's talk about regardless. Do we understand what regardless is? No? Anybody? No, teacher. No? Independientemente. Okay. It's okay. Regardless, yeah, exactly. Regardless means it doesn't matter. Independent of something, it, it means uh, regardless, okay? So it means regardless of the type of small business. So it means it doesn't matter what kind of small business it is. Does that make sense? In that context, in, in other in other context, could be like a, like a, un saludo, regardless. No, that's regards. Regardless. Not regardless. Regards. 
Okay. Regards. Okay. Regards. Okay. okay. Teacher, I I love the the meaning, but in Spanish was de todas formas. Is a similar word or or uh it could mean, but not in this context. Okay, regardless, it could be de todas formas, uh, pero, pero no in este, no this este context. In this context, it could be, for example, um, um, sin importar. Okay. And then we have the last word is pre performed. Okay, performed it means um, the, the, the action, okay? So the amount of service performed by the seller means the, the amount of service given by the, the seller. Okay, does that make sense? Como funcionamiento. Eh, no. Um, it's, it's in Spanish, what would be performed in this case? In this case, what is performed? In this case, in this context, it would be more like, like ejecutado. El, la, la cantidad de servicio ejecutado por el, por el vendedor. Okay. Okay. O realizado también. O realizado, uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. And I wanted to call your attention to this very important word. Esta palabra que a cada rato decimos, que a cada rato está en el, en el, en el, um, en el, ah, en el artículo. Okay. I want you to pay attention to this word. Uh, I need you to pay attention to the um, pronunciation. Okay. We say production. Everybody repeat. Production. 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 Okay. Production. Very good. So it's not duction, it's da action. Da a ah, a ah, a ah, a. Ah. Okay. Production. So, yes, production. And I think I have production. said this before. In English, the letter U is normally pronounced like a like a uh. Okay, so like maybe 75% of the time, the the you will sound like uh, so it's going to be production, produ uh, 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 not produce, production. Okay, production. Can everybody repeat after me? Production. 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 Very good. Um, the same thing with product. 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 Very good. So it's not product. It's not product. Um, yeah, it's not product. It's product. Product. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. Okay. All right. So that's it. Um, now, before we move on to the next part, I'm going to stop sharing. And I'm going to take attendance. Okay. Y les recuerdo que necesito um, ver sus lindas caritas. Así es que se me hace el favor. Aprendemos todas las camaritas. Okay. Eh, Cristina. 
teacher. Okay, very good. Ani? Present teacher. Excellent. Mari? Present. Okay, Mari, can we see your beautiful face? Yes, just give me two minutes, please. <laughs> Why? We can, are we, do we, you, are you going to put on some makeup or what? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. I took medicine in my eye. Oh, Sorry. Okay, okay, I understand. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll be, we'll be waiting for you. No worries. Okay, uh, thank you. All right, um, Carolina. Present teacher. Wonderful. And Mari? No, I'm sorry, sorry. Sorry, <laughs> we're going backwards. Sorry about that. Uh, Christy. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Thank you, Christy. And Jorge? Present teacher. Excellent. Thank you, Jorge. And Karen? Karen. No, Karen. Okay. Uh, what about Karina? Present. Thank you. Leonardo. Leonardo, not here. Uh, Marlene. Oh, no, sorry, sorry. Linda. Present, teacher. Okay, very good, Linda. Marlene. Present. All right, thank you, Marlene. Miguel. Miguel, se nos fue Miguel. Oh, okay, se nos fue. Okay, Nelson G. Thank you. All right, wonderful. Nelson A. Present teacher. All right, wonderful. And Norma. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you, Norma. And Olga. Present teacher. Oh, okay, wonderful. And Omar. Present teacher. Excellent. And uh, Suleyma Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay, very good. And Suleyma Melgar, not here. And Tatiana. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. All right, perfect. Okay, gotcha, got everybody. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, again, we're gonna go back to this um, now that we've understand the article, let's answer these five questions, okay? I'm gonna give you five minutes to uh, work with your partner again, and you're going to, um, yeah, you're going to uh, discuss those questions. Only five minutes, okay? So it shouldn't take you very long, one minute per question, basically, okay? So let's, um, Give you five five minutes. Um, five minutes. ¿Qué pasó, Suleyma? Hola. El internet me sacó. Ah, ok. Va, entonces, mire, la voy a, uh, para mandarla al grupo original, la voy a tener que volver a, la voy a tener que mandar a otro grupo, pero la voy a mandar, o sea, la voy a mandar dos veces. Ok. De que okay. no se vaya. ¿Y cómo es la? Ok, ¿cómo es la tarea? Eh, porque como me sacó, no, no lo ah, eh, la atención. La, solamente vamos a discutir las preguntas de la, del, del artículo. Ah, ok. okay. De, ¿Pero del de ejercicio 1 o el ejercicio la, que están abajo del cuadrito? Las que están abajo. Ah, ok. okay. Gracias. Ok. okay.
What are some samples of fixed costs? Cost? What are some samples of fixes, fixed cost? Fixed variable cost. Yeah, the same. Facts, facts. An example. Item such as the rain for. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, there are three. The three demanda. Donde voy? The three is, a, a, is an inversion. Mm -hmm. Inversion relationship. <coughs> Uh -huh. is, um, <coughs> is um, religion. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I verse. Relationship. 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 Mm -hmm. Relationship. <coughs> Hasta ahí, ¿verdad? Sí. Another question, what variables influence the determinant method? O sería hasta donde va el punto, donde dice, dice, is a inversion relationship between demand and, in, and price. Mm -hmm. Es que es como afecta la demanda, dicen, el precio del producto. Y esto dice mm -hmm. que tiene una relación inversa. When has price fall, demand rise, and has price rise, demand fall. Demand mm -hmm. fall, uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, demand for your product is your uh, who's uh, is you are selling uh, both. I think is by the amount of your plan profit and the type of the product or service. What variables influence to determine the markup? Uh, the type. I think there are two, two variables. Number one, the amount or, or maybe the type of the product or service you are selling, you are selling the type of-, of Or the service product. you are selling. I I find, I found the, the, the answer too. Yes, that is the answer. Uh, yes. mm -hmm. The type of the product. The amount service. of your plan profit and the type of the product, product or service. Product or service you are selling. Mm -hmm. okay. yes. I think that is the, the answer. Okay. What are, I don't remember the number one, what are the most important factor to consider when setting a price for a product? Uh, a fixed cost. and variable cost. What are some examples of fixed cost? Mm -hmm. 
the rent for your office or manufacturing space? What, what are, are some examples, examples of variable costs? So labor and materials. There are items that change with your sales volume. How does market demand affect the pricing of your product? The law of demand. What variables influence to determine the market percentage? The amount of your plant profit? the type of the product or service you are selling. Uh, we say, uh, we say the rent of your office or manufacturing space. Uh, what are some example of fixed cost? Fixed costs include items. Hello. So Hola. 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 Hello. Hola, si ¿sí me escuchan. Yes. Hola. Okay. Uh, we finished. Or yes. There are other questions that. Hello. Hola. I think I think uh, Jorge is having problems with his internet connection. Hello. The connection is not. Okay, guys and girls, um, did you finish uh, answering? Yes. Yes? Okay. All right, very good. Okay, so what we're gonna do right now um, is I'm going to start, we're gonna be um, reading the questions and as and answering so what are the most important factors to consider when setting a price for a product that's question number one what can you tell me what are the answers mm -hmm. market demand for a product or service sorry market demand for a product or service Yes, very good. Very good. That's one thing. Another thing. What's another thing? Market demand for a product or service. 
Something else? There are three things. The cause of production. Excellent. Cost of production and the design market by the business. Yes, very good. The market the business expects to get. The answer is right here. Um, I've I've um, sent the answer by chat. Okay. All right, next question. What are some examples of fixed costs? Examples of fixed costs? Your office, the rent of your office and manufacturing space. Wonderful, very good. There's a second answer. What are the examples of variable prices, uh, costs? Labor and materials. Yes, very good. Labors and materials. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Next question. Um, how does the market demand affect the pricing of your product? How does market demand affect the pricing of your product? Uh -huh. Ideas? The, the law of when, demand. When price, oh, mm -hmm. The law of demand. What is the law of demand? Uh, is that there an inverse relationship between demand and price? Exactly. As price, demand rise, and as rise, demand falls. Exactly. That's right. There is an inverse. Um, there is an inverse relationship between demand and price. As price fall, um, the sorry, as as the prices fall, demand rises, and as prices rise, demand falls. Okay, good. And the, the last question is, what variables uh, influence to determine the markup percentage? There are actually four. You can tell me. Uh, uh, the amount of plant profit and the type of the product or service you are selling. Mm -hmm. Good. And? Okay, uh, here are the answers. One, the amount of planned profit. Two, the type of product or services. Three, how rapidly the product sells. And four, the amount of service performed by the seller. Okay, so those are your answers. They're in the chat. Okay. Any questions? Uh labor is people who manufacture manufacturing the product in the number Can you three, the question again in the in the answer number three labors mm -hmm. and materials labor labors is people who who, who are manufacturing the product yes yes Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's it's, it's uh, mm -hmm. exactly. Yes. Okay. So it's um it's the service that is given by the workers. Okay. Anything else?
Okay. All right, let's uh, continue then. I'm going to share my the rest of my PowerPoint. Please tell me if you can see it. Okay, can you guys see it? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Wonderful. Okay, so, um, so it says here, join your assigned breakout room with your original group. Remember, this is a group that we always come back to, um, that we're always working with, uh, the one that we did the, the, the SWOT analysis with. Go uh, prepare a presentation. Go back to the new product description you created in unit one. Make the list of features as specific and detailed as possible. Brainstorm the materials needed to create a prototype. List the benefits of building a prototype of your new product and share your presentation with the class. So um, you guys created a product. You've done, um, you've done, well, you did the SWOT analysis of the product. You, um, you created the idea of the product. You even did um, a um, a survey, right? Uh, you know, a a focus group survey. And um, now it's time for us to talk about making a prototype. Okay. And to make the prototype, we have to find out first what are the specific um, the list of uh, features. Uh, in as much as specific and detailed as possible. Okay, so that's the first thing we're gonna do. Okay, um, here. So list of features, specific and detailed. Okay, and you also have to talk about the materials needed for the prototype and a list of benefits of building the prototype. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah? Teacher. Uh-huh. My group down here. Your group is not here, nobody. No. Yeah, nobody of your group is here. Mm -mm. No puede ser, si son, mm -hmm. son 16 participantes lo que tengo. No puede ser. But is... Well, well, well I'm, no. gonna, I'm going to right now make the group and see who's who's available. But first I want to know, are, are the instructions clear? Are the instructions clear? Yes? Um, we, we have to do a list of features as a specific and detailed, uh, brainstorm the, of the materials need to create a prototype and list of the benefits yes. of building a prototype. That is correct. Yes. All right. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. Wonderful. Okay. I'm going to stop. Stop sharing. And I'm going to create the groups just as we have the groups. So give me a moment while I figure out um, give me one second. Guys. I'm gonna try to figure out bye. Recuérdeme si este es el grupo correcto. I have in group number one, I have Carolina, uh, Marlene, 
Karina and Nelson G. Is that the correct? Yes. yes. Okay, bye. Entonces, okay, vamos a ver. Okay, so in group number one, I have, okay, let me just give me a moment. Okay, so Carolina, Karina, ¿por qué me da la impresión como que ese grupo de personas? Falta Karen Yesenia Martínez. Ah, ok, pues sí, Karen no está. Ok, good. All right. Um, in group number two, I have Ana Cristina, Jorge, Linda, and Nelson A. Ok. In group number three, I have Christy, Miguel, is not here, Norma, and Olga, and Sulema Melgar, who is not here. In group number four, I have Mari, Leonardo, who's not here, Omar, Suleima Rodriguez, and Tatiana. Um, Ani, ¿con quién está usted? ¿Con qué grupo? No remember, teacher. Okay, who remembers? Who was with Ani? I think it's in the number two with us. With you, okay. Bye. Okay, all right. Okay, so I'm going to open the groups. Um, I'm going to give you 15 minutes. Does that sound good? Okay. Okay. Let's open up, give you five, uh, 15 minutes. Christy? Are you having problems, Christy? Christy, ¿tiene problemas para entrar? Vamos para para el prototype eh, y luego una lista de beneficios of building a prototype of your new product. Share your presentation. Ok, lo vamos a hacer. Uh, Alguien no puede ir haciendo como una presentación. Quiero ver. Can you please help us? Hello. Uh, I want to share my. Oh, okay. Sorry about uh, that. I'll, yeah, I'll go. I'll go and come back. I don't have permission. Yeah, I'm gonna go into the main room and I'll and I'll fix that. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Can you try now? Yes, teacher, I can. 
Okay. It's okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, can you see me? No se ve, Irma. Entonces, no sé si puede ser lo Karina ahí la presentación. Oh, pues. Oh, pues. Pero no quiero. Uh -huh. Cal. Calma oh, okay. el grupo, Karina. Yo Ay. no tengo. Lo hacemos el, con dibujo en cuaderno y lo pasamos. En uh -huh. la cámara. En la cámara, así le va a tocar entonces. Bueno, entonces cada quien hagámoslo en el cuaderno. No, pues ni cuaderno tengo aquí. <risa> What is the no. Hello, teacher. Hello. What's the problem? <laughs> what? What is the problem? Uh, is the presentation the PowerPoint. PowerPoint. <laughs> PowerPoint teacher. What happened to the PowerPoint? I don't have it in my computer. No, Nelson, no, Carolina. Only Karina, but she does she doesn't want. <laughs> oh no. okay. Um yeah, it, it would be a very good idea if um you guys could um share it in a group or something like that. We try. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and Carolina, where is the <clears throat> the fishers? Can you say? Um. Uh, a ver. Um, um, yo no manejo PowerPoint. <laughs> yo sí. No, the, <laughs> yo lo voy a uh, hacer, pero the, las, las, las ideas ahorita. Ah, para tener, va, ok. Que era la, la característica que había dicho. Uh, Espera, la voy a compartir. The flavor. Um, the flavor, a presentation. Um, color. Uh, the color is flower. Y que se le pone al vino, yo no sé qué lleva el vino. The intensity of the color. Uh, water. No necesitamos agua, sí. Se va agua. But the, um, eso es como los ingredientes. Ajá, los materiales. Pero ahorita es diciendo las características o oh, es lo mismo no las características eh, qué son las características um, que no ya tengo como ya busqué dice cinco características básicas de un vino el cuerpo es la intensidad del color y la densidad en boca del vino Ah, eso pongamos. Dulzor, la sensación de dulzor en boca. Uh -huh. Taninos, no sé qué es tanino. La sensación de astringencia y rugosidad en boca. Uh -huh. Sí, de acuerdo a la fermentación, así es diferente. El alcohol, sabor. la sensación Ajá. de calidez en boca. Uh -huh. Pongamos esas pero, características que usted dice. Pero el alcohol... No es que lleve alcohol, ¿verdad? No, que es lo que hace una fermentación. La fermentación. De la sí, es la es? fermentación. Uh 
Vale, pero pongámoslo de acuerdo a las que usted ha mencionado. Eh, pongamos characteristic de, de, del pin. Characteristic. Uh -huh. Characteristic. Characteristic. Ajá. No estoy escribiendo el título. Okay. Brainstorm, the materials. Materials need. Need. Okay. Number one. Uh, dark chocolate. Ah, pero esa ya iba en la anterior. Porque en la anterior pusimos. I'm so glad you were able to come back, Christy. Yes, teacher. Ya pude. Okay, very good. Hello. Hello, Christy. Hello. Vaya, en la primera pusimos fresh fruit. Dark chocolate flavor, quality sugar, is day to day product. Vaya. Mm -hmm. En la siguiente. Y vamos a poner. Materiales. Son, ajá, los materiales. Estas, las la anteriores son como las características. Mm -hmm. En los materiales podríamos poner lo que usted decía, huevo fresco, eh, fresh, dark chocolate, eggs, sugar, dark chocolate, eh, ajá, solo Pero, dark chocolate, puede ¿verdad? ser chocolate con frutas, se puede mm. poner frutas, dark chocolate, más caro los costos. With, with fruit, okay, aunque eso cambiaría nuestros costos, ¿verdad? Por los uh -huh. materiales, más materiales. Uh -huh. eh, sugar. Eh, el, eh, ya pusimos eso. ¿Qué más se necesita? ¿Leche? Milk, leche condensada. Depende. Eh, mm, para que para, para el, so, condensed milk. Condensed, condensed milk. Yeah. Condensed Thank you. milk. Thank you. Ah, evaporate uh, milk too? Mm -hmm. uh, evaporated milk. No. Evaporated. Evaporated. Evaporated, evaporated milk. Evaporated milk. Mm -hmm. Okay. En sugar. Uh, sugar glass. Sugar glass. Otra o solo. Sugar glass. Mm -hmm. Es por decorate the cake. Uh -huh. Eso mm, yo no sé de qué se hace. Eh... <risa> Ay, eh. <risa> mm. Crema Chantilly. Chantilly Queen. Uh -huh. Green. Bye. Now, at least the benefit of building a prototype. Bye. Vea que ahí nos quedamos con con el brainstorm. Chanty cream. Okay. Uh, ahora una nueva diapositiva. Sería Cherry. Ah, yo ya no. Ya terminamos. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. Solo falta los beneficios. Ah. 
Now, uh, the uh, list of the benefits is uh, the benefit of building a prototype for your new product. The benefit. The benefit of building. Mm. Oh, our product. Okay. ¿Cómo sería esto? Por ejemplo, uh, uh, bajos costos, no sé cómo decir. Es. Lista de los beneficios acerca de nuestro producto. Eh, Precio accesible. Sí. No bajo costo porque le estamos poniendo producto de calidad. Precio accesible. O será en general eh, que nos beneficia crear ese prototipo antes de llevarlo al mercado, como para sondear. Lista de beneficios no. creados de tu nuevo producto. Ah, sí, yo siento que es para nosotros. Bueno. Yo creo. Ah, entonces. Este. ¿Es beneficio de construir un prototipo de tu nuevo producto. Al ponerlo en el mercado, como se supone que, estamos, que vamos a hacer un estudio de mercado, quien lo acepta Ajá. tiene las dos opciones. Y en base a eso se produce. So, guys, try to keep it in English, oh. right? Because that's how we're going to learn English, right? We if we practice English. Yes, teacher. Um, so, and we can uh -huh, make a one prototype with plastic uh, materials and the other prototype we use ceramic. Ceram Eso dijo? Uh, it's correct. It's correct. Okay, uh, and we need to another type of materials uh, uh, beside plastic or I don't know how. Metal. Um, Cooper. We need a, bat, a battery. Uh, I know, I'm reading about this and uh, most phones are made for, of 40% uh, metals and 40% plastic and 20% ceramic materials and trace minerals. Uh, I think we can use this for the materials. That's uh, that's uh, Suleyma said about this. Hello. Most phones are made. Yes. It's okay it's, because uh, other other is is um, materially is uh, this is the information uh, most phones are made of uh, que es lo que dijo o Suleima que era como plástico uh, ceramic materials and trace minerals yes 
aluminium, copper, okay. plastic, cobalt, mm -hmm. tungsten, okay. silver. This principal material. Okay, or so only. when when or in the presentation, uh, we start uh, talking about the features, and after that we can speak uh, talk about the the materials. I think. Or no sé qué piensan. Hola. Hello. Sí. The copies in chat. The principal um, material. Ah, okay. Is proposal a sería cantidad. Hay ciertos productos que sí se necesitan cierta cierto peso. Mm -hmm. No, but she say eh, she need details. So I think that this information is okay yes. for me. Are you guys finished? Uh, yes, teacher. Yes? Okay, great. Um, I'm gonna go check the other groups to see if they're finished too, okay? Okay. Solo es ahora que está aquí. Es que no le entiendo, entiendo. Hay que pasarle la diapositiva, este, Olga, para que Cristina ya la tenga completa. Ah, bueno, entonces mándeme su número, porque en el chat no se puede. Are we este... finished or do you need more time? No, we're finished, teacher. You finished? Yeah. Yes. Okay, I'll see you guys in the main room in a moment. Okay. Bye. Are we finished? No, teacher. No? No. You need more time. How much more time do you need? Uh. Mm -hmm. How much? How much time do you need? Maybe five minutes. Five minutes, teacher. Okay. There is the product. Coordenemos. Bueno, también protege la piel también, dice. Mm -hmm. Hi, guys. Just a question. Are you guys finished? No. No, no. no Miss Peach. How much time do you need? Um, five minutes. Okay. Five minutes it is. Yes. Vaya bueno, este, Karina, en la presentación lo vamos a dividir para decirla. Sí, pero primero ordenémosla, porque vaya, okay. tenemos la. la ya hemos terminado. Okay. Ajá, voy a mandar pero... los beneficios ahorita. Y los ingredientes. Ya le voy a, le, le voy a tomar. Ya, ya, ya los manda. puso. Ya los puso Karina, creo. No, no, no escribí. Le voy a tomar foto. Lo... Espérame. Okay. okay. By Mandela uh, Beneficios. Oh, sí. Marlon. Marlon, Marlon. Marlin le dice, vea como que es Marlin. Marlin. No es Marlin, es Malin. Malin. Azorio. 
Malin, se me está olvida. Está bien, está bien. No, no problem. Thank you. Los cinco, Ana, porque tú sí que las tenía. Bueno, después de esta clase, sí, quizás necesitamos hacer un vino. Siempre en el caso. Estoy leyendo de. Uh, ah, como él tiene el que le vende la, la compañera de trabajo. Sí. Ah, sí. ¿Va? De aquí lo tengo. Uh, ay, hasta allá la par lo tiene. La par lo tiene. No, pero eso es esa, esa muestra. Mm. No, lo, Vaya, Chris, creo que ya lo mandé al grupo. No sé. Ok, sí, okay. Lo, pensé que lo había mandado al grupo incorrecto. Ah, pero el grupo lo mandó de, de, de WhatsApp. De WhatsApp. Okay, voy a verlo ahí entonces. Y tengo uno que no dice ningún ingrediente, solo dice el porcentaje de alcohol. Mm. No, no sé si Ay, no. Ah, estos Pero... son los ingredientes. Ajá, dice. Sí. Pues ya lo tiene en la mano, ahí lo tiene en la ah. mano ya. No, ya pero, se va a echar pero... la copita. Eh. Ah, no, pero aquí no lo entiendo. No, por... Uy, cuidado, no nos censuren en, en, en YouTube. En YouTube. Sí. Me <risa> está tomando vino, ¿no? Sí. <risa> sí. Supuestamente es para es contenido para, para niños. niños. <risa> No, okay. no, no es para niños. No es para niños, pero, pero sí. Mejor lo quites. Sí, no Mejor es. lo quites. Vos decís que ahí guardas Por agua. culpa de Karina los van a censurar. Man. Sí, no nos van a querer dar clase. Eh, Karina, ahí mandé la, uh, los beneficios. ¿A dónde? Ah, en el chat. En el chat. Ya lo voy a ah, en el chat. Pero... Pero... Vamos a ver. Aquí en... Fíjense de que aquí dice. Sodio al 2%. Eh, ¿Dónde fue producido y embotellado? No sé, uh -huh. si ser, no sé si nos sirve. Lo voy a mandar de todas maneras. Al grupo. Right. Pero, pero están mandando al grupo que abrimos de lo de la clase o acuerdo que no lo encuentro. No, el de nosotros, que estamos Ay, a nosotros. Sorry. A lo sacaron quizás. Yo creo que me sacaron porque no lo encuentro. <risa> y acabo de mandar una foto, qué raro. Y yo espero que la, foto grupo, del, pues. la foto del, del vino, donde están las calorías, el sodio y todo eso. Uh -huh. Ay, no se ven las letras de eso. Nelson, y ya, ya, ya se tomó el vino. Y ya está de cabeza. No, <risa> sí, cabrón. No, lo que pasa es que estoy buscando, Dios mío. Estoy buscando lo que pasa. Más que nervioso lo ponen al pobre. Sí, me ponen de verdad que me dice que ya me tomé el vino. No, no siempre, tengo... siempre, siempre Carolina le dice que está de cabeza. Sí, es que es siempre. Es cierto, que... toda la vida se pone cabeza. No, es que cuando ya se comienza a poner este, pantalla dividida para buscar lo de que han enviado. Ah, ah, es que usted está del teléfono, ¿verdad? Ah, en el teléfono estoy, entonces, para poder ver la pantalla dividida, <risa> dividido la pantalla. Y no, ese se es el divide, efecto. Se el le divide efecto. la cabeza, papá. Se me divide la cabeza, cabal. Con este grupo siempre. <laughs> yeah. I see okay well yeah, i'm gonna actually Sunday. have to close the group because we've come to the end of our class so uh okay. we'll see you tomorrow okay okay okay, okay.
Okay, all right, guys and girls. Um, I know some of you are finished. I know others of you are not finished. Uh, we're gonna work on that a little bit. We're gonna continue that or in our next class, okay? So right now, what I need to do is um, take attendance. So let's start. Um, Cristina? Present teacher. Ani? Present teacher. Ari? Present. Okay. Carolina? Present. Christy? Present teacher. Great. Karen? Karen? Eh, Karina? Present. Leonardo? Linda? Present teacher. Marlene? Marlene? Estaba ahí en el, en el grupo. Sí. A ver qué le pasó. Okay. Se fue con la botella de vino. vino. Se fue con la botella de vino. Ay, no sé. Uh, Nelson G. Ay, pareció. Presen. Ah, okay. pareció. Ya llegó. Ah, ya llegó. Nelson A. Present teacher. Very good. Uh, Norma. Present teacher. Olga. Present. Okay. Um, Omar. Present. Eh, good. Um, Suleima Rodriguez. Present. Suleima Milgar. Y Tatiana. Present teacher. Okay. Teacher, mi campus se trabó. Por sí. eso no dije present. No cuenta. <laughs> Ay, a cargo. <laughs> Present. 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 Present a ponerles ahí en, en, el, en, um, en el, el horario. Y por último, acuérdense que hoy tenemos, es el último día para entregar la unidad 3. Así que, eh, por favor, asegúrense que todo esté completo de la unidad 3. Y que, por favor, si uh, hay alguien que todavía por X motivo le falta el midterm, que no debería de, pero si por X motivo lo hace, entonces, por favor, también terminen eso porque ya la próxima semana ya es el, el la 4 y ya no se, y el midterm, y el final exam y ya no hay chance para. Entonces, eh, queremos ir avanzando con eso porque ya nos quedan pocos días. Ok. So that's it, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Ok. All right. Hey, teacher. Yes, good night. Hola, Tatiana. Se me queda. Ok, Tatiana, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estamos? Bien, por aquí. <risas> Vaya, qué bien. Um, cuénteme, ¿en qué le puedo ayudar? Pues yo hasta ahorita, pues creo que sí voy entendiendo pues, bastante bien. O sea, eh, quiero ver. Pues no, pues realmente alguna duda, duda ahorita, no, no, teacher. ¿Para qué le digo no? No hay ninguna duda. No, pues. Todo está, todo está claro, entonces. Por el momento, sí, eh, todo, todo, o sea, lo he ido, lo he ido comprendiendo. Ok, muy bien, muy bien. ¿Y qué hay de en sí el idioma? ¿Qué hay, tiene usted preguntas en cuanto al idioma en general? Algo que... No le quede muy claro, no solo esta clase de este curso, sino que cualquier cosa. O si tiene um, eh, alguna cosa que le cuesta más, que quisiera eh, saber cómo mejorar. Eh, well, I think just the sometimes pronunciation and sometimes I, for, 
I forget how to how to how to say something or maybe with the bears I sometimes I have some trouble but uh, general I I understand I think very well uh, just maybe I, I need to practice um, the conversation okay. I think okay I understand um, all right um, do you practice uh, listening? Like, for example, do you watch series and movies? And now I try to see the uh, the watch movies in English only. Uh, and in my job, I have all the trainings in English, actually. Ah. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, that's going to help you. OK. Uh -huh. uh, but mm -hmm. but I think my my problem uh, is sometimes I feel nervous when I have to speak. Just mm. just that. Yeah, I understand. I understand that that does happen. I mean, it happens to me too. So I completely understand. Sometimes <laughs> we, get, we get nervous, uh, but um, uh, just just try to relax and take your time. Um, you don't have to say everything so quickly, right? Um, you know, and, and be patient with yourself. I think sometimes we are our biggest critics, mm -hmm. right? Sometimes, and I get in passion. <laughs> yes, we get impatient with ourselves, but we're very patient with other people, which is very strange. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so there really shouldn't, um, you know, so you shouldn't feel bad. Um, if you cannot um, uh, do something very quickly, that's okay, just take a breather, right? And try to do it slowly, right? Okay. That's, that's important. Um, and, and it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay. okay. Um, because uh, when we make mistakes, we learn. Right. Okay. We, sometimes we say, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. And then remembering that actually remembering that we made that mistake makes our brain go, no, don't do that again. And it will and that will keep us in mind. So it, it will keep that in, in our mind and then we won't have to make that mistake again. So it's OK to make mistakes. Right. As long as we try to learn from them. And you may make it again. I mean, I'm not saying that you make a mistake and you cannot make the mistake again. We, you probably will make the mistake again. But the idea is that we're going to try to make less of that mistake. Right? So it's okay. Yes. Yeah, you, okay. Can, you, you, you just have to be patient with yourself. But um, I, I encourage you because you're always participating. And that's very good. Um, yeah, uh, I know you, you are almost always one of the first ones to participate and give answers and you may not be sure about something, but you go for it. That's great. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's how we learn. So that's very good. That attitude is going to make you go a long way. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I hope that. <laughs> ah, of course. Yeah, I, I. I, I know it will. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. Is there anything that I can help you with? Something in particular that I can do to help you make it things more easier for you? No, for me, everything is okay. Just I have to be honest because I couldn't finish the unit three because I had to work last week and I couldn't. But uh, the other units, I think everything is okay. And now I don't have any any question or or something. I have to be clear. So I am okay right now. Okay, good, 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 excellent. All right. Well, you still have a little bit of chance to finish unit three. Okay. Because, yes. <laughs> so you gotta go and finish that. Okay. So sí, la, ahorita la voy a hacer igual. Tengo que quedarme arreglando unas cosas de mi hijo del colegio, así es que. Ah, okay, okay. Bye. perfecto, no hay problema. 
¿Alguna uh -huh. pregunta? ¿Algo con la que yo le pueda ayudar? Eh, no, ahorita todo bien, teacher. Todo bien. Perfect. Ok, so in that case, that's it. I will see you tomorrow and take care. Yes. Okay. Yes, take care. <laughs> Thank uh, you, teacher. You're welcome. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye-bye.